That's what you need. Adhesive. Your foam surround, a Phillips screwdriver, X-Acto blade, and a swizzle stick. So we'll start by removing the speaker from the cabinet. Lift the speaker out of the enclosure. We see a red dot here on this speaker, which should help us determine which one is positive, and a blue line on that cable. So that's our positive speaker cable. And you could grab a piece of white tape and mark positive and negative. We can see it's completely disintegrated around the foam surround. This piece would be called a gasket, so we need to remove that first so that we can get to the foam. Be very careful because you don't want to puncture your, the rest of your speaker. And now we're going to save that for later so we can replace it on top of the uh, new foam enclosure. We'll just place it right on top of the cone like that. So we're going to start gluing with its own glue. Work the new edge into the cone. It helps to use the swizzle stick that way we don't get glue on our fingers. Okay, so there we are. We've got a new edge placed on our cone. So while we're waiting this hour for the uh, edge to dry, I'm going to take this time to clean up some of our workspace. Before we uh, glue the edge of the new foam to the frame, push around the, uh, the cone a little bit. Get a feel for the center of the assembly. The cone can easily be moved in one direction or the other. You also see where the sweep spot is, and there's no scraping of the voice coil. our fingers just to distribute the glue a little bit, make sure that everything's even. Exercise the cone a little bit just to make sure that we're getting things centered and getting the new foam placed in the correct position. So here we go, we've got everything sealed on there and we're going to let it dry for about another hour. All right, we're back. It's been about an hour, um, and our surround should have uh, cured somewhat to the frame. Add the gasket that we removed in the uh, first step. First, we're going to place a bead of glue around our new edge to help smooth it out, make it a little bit even. Make sure if there are screw holes that you line up the screw holes um, with the screw holes on your speaker. Everything should be dry now. Finished, brand new uh, speaker surround. Uh, hopefully you remember the colors that we told you at the beginning. The red dot here is for the positive, and that goes to the blue cable. And the other one goes to the negative cable. Put it around and get it in. Get it nice and tight so it doesn't bounce around in your enclosure. So the final step is uh, let's plug it in and see if it works. Place my dust shield. All the last thing to do is listen to some music and rock out. There you have it. I replaced speaker foam surround. Good luck. Wonder.